This is the Creality Falcon 2 and this is the laser you need. Hey guys, it's Sam from the Counterposter Shop and we were sent the Creality Falcon 2 not long ago to give you our honest impression uh, of this machine. So let's get right into it. We were already planning on getting a laser cutter at some point, but we weren't sure what to take between a CO2 laser and a diode-based laser like this one. It's funny because we weren't fans of open-air lasers like this, but if we were to buy one, it would have been this one. So we were very pleased to hear they wanted us to try out this machine. The experience begins with the unboxing. The machine is really well packaged and has everything you need to start your journey of laser cutting and engraving. Instructions are clear and assembly was super simple with only a handful of steps. Let's applaud my camera angle talent. In the box, we had a couple of balsa wood pieces and a stainless steel sheet to prevent burning our surface underneath. You can buy a honeycomb surface and even a rotary roller to engrave on round stuff like bottles on the Creality website. After only a couple minutes, we were ready to go on our first test. It's at this time that we realized the power of this laser. We tried to engrave a test project on a half-inch MDF board we had laying around. With only a single pass, the laser was able to cut about half of the board's thickness. Very impressive. The Creality Falcom 2 is offered with a variety of power. The one we have is I think the most versatile one at 22 watts. This is quite powerful for a diode laser type thanks to its combined laser array to make this kind of power. This is perfect for projects that need engraving and even cutting without any issues. Other things that it's worth mentioning is the triple monitoring system. Laser cutters are not toys and need safety features. This one came with multiple sensors that helps you monitoring your machine while cutting, even if there is a fire hazard. The laser has a proprietary air assist. It's a must that not many machines have. We're using Lightburn, the recommended software to work with this machine. It only took a couple of days to find a workflow with some tutorials found online. We don't have a laptop, so we ended up using our iPad with remote access and an active USB extension to connect to our computer. We tried to work offline with the SD card like a 3D printer, but we didn't have any luck. But working with a computer is really the way to go with this kind of machine. With all that power, we were impressed to see the speed of this machine that claimed that it can go up to 25,000 mm per minute. We were able to jump to a project to another very quickly.
In our workshop, we have a Cricut. For those who don't know what it is, it's an all-in-one machine that cuts, writes, and embosses things like paper, vinyl, and more. We always use it for our projects, so we tried to do similar things with the laser. Here we tried with paper, and it was a real success. It's nice to see the possibilities. We will be able to do pretty much the same things, and more, but with a work area way bigger. It's been about a month that we have this machine and honestly the experience is very positive. The only issues we had uh, was from us or something that come with the territory. We are not expert with laser cutting machine but the learning curve wasn't bad at all. The last thing we want to note is the elephant in the room. The big downside of this kind of laser is the open air work surface. Laser burns and burning things create fumes. But we were aware of that before receiving the machine and we thought of something to fix that. Stay tuned for the next video. If ever you're considering buying this machine, you can look at our link down in the video description. It really helps the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and like always, see you soon! So, let's get right into it. C'est correct?